morning, everyone. Um, the reason we're here today is for our 2022-2023 seventh grade awards program. Uh, a lot of you guys have worked really, really hard this year, so it's an opportunity to recognize that hard work and dedication you've shown throughout the year uh, in all your classes, whether it be on your team or in the electives and so forth. Um, but to start our program, we always have our student council vice president and do our welcome. It's often a welcome to the microphone, Ms. Camilla Provo. start recognizing students for achievement in uh, both uh, classes on your team and also with the electives. Uh, but we're going to start with the team awards, so I'm going to turn it over to the champions teachers. some of you for outstanding achievement and uh, a variety of subjects that we've had this year. And so we will start with our language arts content awards with Ms. Speaks. So uh, for ex certificates of excellence, we'll go to Nathan Nanica. <laughs> Next, we have Anna Reisowitz. <laughs> Next, we have Cyprian Valentine. Next up, we have Oxaj Akula. And our outstanding medal winner for Miss Speaks Language Arts is Vedanchi Das. All right, congratulations to those of you for language arts. I'm going to move on to social studies next just because Ms. Speaks is going to give those to you all for me. Uh, certificates for excellence in social studies go to Isaac Glenn. <laughs> next, we 
Next, we have Radila Alam. <laughs> Next excellence in social studies goes to Avery McGowan. And the outstanding medal winner for social studies is Adi Chato. So congratulations to our social studies award recipients. We'll move next to Matt with Miss Maddie Ling. All right, hey, we're doing awards, be nice. All right, so first up, we have excellence awards for Matt to Vedanchi Das. We also have an award for Matt for Excellence for Olivia Lahr. Our next for Excellence in Math goes to Shivandar. And the outstanding medal for math goes to Adi Chata. All right, we'll move next into science champions. So with Mr. Workman. Uh, excellence awards. Hey, let's listen and be quiet, be respectful. Remember, champions. Thank you. Excellence awards in science go to Vedanchi Das. <laughs> Next excellence award for science goes to Oliver Howell. Yeah. Next award for excellence in science goes to Casey Opio. And our outstanding medal for science goes to Adi Chato. Congratulations, champions, on your content awards. Thank you. All right, now we're going to slide to the other side of the room and bring up the T-Brothers teachers.
and Language Arts, Jake Keaton. <laughs> Excellence in Language Arts, Taylor Clements. And our medal winner for Outstanding Achievement in Language Arts, Lillian Mendiondo. And for um, excellence in social studies, Kevin Kinsiko Jimenez. For excellence in social studies, Eric Reyes Gonzalez. For excellence in social studies, Hiba Nadim. And for outstanding achievement in social studies, our medal winner, Ryan Kaiser. So, Ms. Nair and Mr. Rimmel are coming up.
our leaders next year, right? Yeah, we'll get to see you all. That's one of the great things that the elective teachers get to do is we see you in sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade, some of us for all three years, and it is a wonderful way of getting to know you. So I hope you have enjoyed all the great classes that uh, Beaumont has. There's like 17 different types of incredible electives, uh, languages, real world technology and applications, and uh, you know, family consumer, consumer sciences, uh, music band, orchestra. I hope that you guys have found something that has inspired you. Um, these choices are hard to make. We don't just go on grades. We also go by people who show effort or show enthusiasm. Uh, so here we go. If you hear your name, come walk towards Mr. Randall and he'll give you your certificate or medal. So in art, we have certificates of excellence for Alyssa Steiner. Thank you. And to for uh, Lex Tawson. Taylor Clement. In band, we have excellence uh, certificates for Liam Brook. Nathan Nandiga. Sloan Guy. goes to Jake Keaton. Uh, we have a, a group that's, uh, that were in the musical, so you guys get some excellence awards um, yeah, for Bailey Black. <laughs> Levi Jones. And Ella Whitmer. And Miss, uh, and, and there's a medal for Camila Crovo for outstanding In uh, regular choir, we have certificates of excellence for Addison Wilford. Shelby Reynolds and Santana Chopra. And the medal for outstanding choir student goes to Sydney Yaden. In orchestra. Excellence Awards for Arichara. And Edgar Gibson. And Radila Alam. And a medal for Outstanding Orchestra Student who also plays the largest instrument, Nor Alir. World Languages and Chinese Awards of Excellence for Ayahadi. And for Atosha Queen Josephine. As well as for Aaron Sachs. The Medal for Outstanding Chinese students goes to Isaac Glenn. In French, we have certificates of excellence.
Danse for Taylor Fleming. <laughs> Uh, the medal for outstanding French student goes to Sahana Shiva Kumar. In Espanol, my certificates of excellence go to Graciela Young. Ryan Kaiser. As well as to Ivan Lewis. And my medal of outstanding Spanish student goes to Aya Hadi. The medal for outstanding seventh grade English language learner goes to Casey Aileen Opayo. In health, certificates of excellence go to Ava, um, Ava Martha. And also to Levi Jones. And to Alex Johnson. The medal for outstanding health student goes to Sydney Aiden. Excellence go to Taylor Clemen. Anderson Flores Couch. And to Kelly Lopez Cantarero. And the Medal for Outstanding. PE student goes to Maggie Gracia. In Family and Consumer Sciences, Ms. Sellinger is giving certificates of excellence to Jackson Winfrey. And to Sydney Hunt. Outstanding Family and Consumer Science student. Well, the middle goes to Zell Gamper. In math, we have certificates of excellence for Victoria Yippa Coach. I hope I said that clear. To Chenaya Raleigh. To Carla Amina Garcia. And to Ni 
Neela Ashley. And the medal for outstanding math student goes to the, there are two actually, uh, Olivia Jones. And also Eric Reyes Gonzalez. In reading, we have certificates for great work for Trey Fox. Outstanding reading uh, for Justin Willoughby. Also, Aiden Milwee. So I'm going to call a range, and if I can fill into that range, you got a certificate for. I'm going to ask that you stand so that we can recognize you. If you received a GPA certificate for earning a GPA between 3.0 and 3.49, please stand at this time to be recognized. If you earn a GPA this year between a 3.5 and a 3.74, please stand to be recognized. If you earn a GPA between a 3.75 and a 3.99, please stand to be recognized.
Great, next we're gonna recognize our students that earned a perfect 4.0 all eight uh, GPA for the year. We're, when we call your name, if you'll come, you'll come up here, get your certificate, and then we're gonna line you guys up across the front so everybody can see everybody got a 4.0. So I'm gonna turn it over to the champions team first. All right, the following students on the champions team for 2022 and 2023 earned a perfect 4.0, like Mr. Beal said, all A's, all quarters. Ready along. Alam, so come on up. Adi Chada. Madan Chidas. Shivandar. Rachel Ellison. Zoe Groves. Ava Martha. Nathan Nanaga. Sachi Thomas. Ruby Watcher, Dylan Wang, Ella Whitmer, and Becky Grace Young. Congratulations to those 12 champions who are at a 4.0 this entire school year. Give those guys another round of applause. You guys can head back to your seat. And now we'll turn over to T Brez for 4.0. in our perfect attendance award, so I'm having Ms. Colbro come up for that. All right. We had one student in seventh grade this year to get perfect attendance. So I want to congratulate Victoria Jeffa Cohen.
All right, next I think we're going to give out what I think is one of those important awards we give each year. It's the Judy Stacy Humanitarian Award for each team. And so I'm going to let Mr. Selinger with the champions come on up. name and focus. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a humanitarian is someone who has concern and welfare for others and has the happiness of others in mind and also helpful and kind. The Judy Stacy Humanitarian Award is named after a teacher who taught social studies here in eighth grade who tragically died in a car accident before you over here at Beaumont. I knew her, several other staff members knew, knew her. She was a wonderful teacher. And it makes me sad that you all will not have her for eighth grade. But with that in mind, we want to celebrate her, not only being a teacher here, but also impacting so many students' lives at Beaumont. She was a light in the world that will never uh, be forgotten. She'll be remembered for all of her love, her passion for her students, and also for her enthusiasm for learning. Each year, teams are charged with choosing a student who embodies what it means to be a humanitarian. The recipient of this award for the champions team is the definition of a gentleman. He carries himself in a way that clearly demonstrates his genuine character and good-natured personality in every situation. He is first to volunteer assistance, whether that be meaning supporting another student in his or her understanding contributing thoughtful ideas to class, conversations, or bailing out a teacher with technology issues. This young man possesses an intelligent humor that brightens our classrooms. He goes well above and beyond to support others and ensure that every single person is included. It is, the true, it is true that high tides raise all ships, then this student certainly contributes positively to the tide and the culture of this team and of our school. The Judy, Tom, uh, Judy Stacy Humanitarian Award will go to Adi Chada. <laughs> a humanitarian award winner and um, I would like to read a little bit about this student. Thoroughbred teachers unanimously selected our humanitarian award recipient this year. In fact, we knew early on the student who deserved this honor and throughout the school year he lived up to each and every one of our great expectations. In class, this young man went above and beyond, often completing extra work just because. He never failed to offer assistance to peers, never complained, and always showed up with a smile on his face. Although only a seventh grader, this student looks at life through the lens of compassion. He seems to know when others need encouragement, and he offers that encouragement in ways that help the recipients retain their dignity while receiving his uplifting words. Our humanitarian award recipient has a heart of gold. He always sees the best in others, and we hope that he knows we always see the very best in him. We are proud to announce that our Judy Stacy Memorial Humanitarian Award recipient for 2023 is Chase Pence. awards we give each year are Mr. and Mrs. Team Awards. So it'll be Mr. and Mrs. Champion and Mr. and Mrs. Team Red. So I'm going to turn it back over to Mr. Seller to present Mr. and Mrs. Champion. All right, we will start with Miss Champion first. The first student to receive this award is a young lady who possesses quiet, quiet kindness in all that she does. 
Her sweet demeanor makes her a role model for everyone around her. It provides an example of the positivity that teachers and peers admire. She consistently demonstrates genuine dedication in all of her academic successes, meeting her own high expectations and supporting others. She is detail-oriented in her approach to schoolwork and life, which is an indication of her deep care and concern for her future and for the people around her. We cannot wait to see all the amazing things that will take place in this young lady's life. This year's Miss Champion Award goes to Maggie Grace Young. Now time for the Mr. Champion for 2022-2023. The next student to receive this award is a young man who's shown extreme dedication and academic success. He is always willing to ask questions and accept guidance and to implement what is he has learned and the ways to ensure his growth, not only as a student, but as a whole person. Aside from academics, this student contributes to the culture of our team and to our school with genuine, kind-hearted attitude towards us teachers and peers. He has definitely impacted our team in an immeasurable, uh, positive way this year. His gentleness is among his greatest strengths, and we are so proud to know him. This year's Mr. Champion Award goes to Diego Jaime Somoza. <laughs> marvelous work. We were fortunate to have her in our classes this year. Our Miss Thoroughbred 2023 is Priya Chandra Shaker. And now for our Mr. Thoroughbred 2023. T-Breds were so fortunate this year to have a very special young man on our team. From the beginning of the year, this student stood out by standing still. He never interrupted class, but he always participated. He never tried to steal the show, but he always shared a smile on dreary days. He never made anyone feel left out because he was a friend to everyone. During group work, he instinctively knew when to lead and when to support other leaders. We counted on his consistency, contribution, collaboration, and caring personality. Our Mr. Thoroughbred leads by example. He's an all-around great guy who never demands attention, but certainly deserves it. Our Mr. Thoroughbred 2023 is Noah Barrett. <laughs> got just a few things. First, I want to congratulate all our award winners. We appreciate your all's hard work and everything you've done this year uh, to make it a great year here at Beaumont. Um, and we expect you guys, we're excited for you guys to become our leaders next year as eighth graders. 
I uh, continue to make Beaumont one of the best schools in the state of Kentucky. I also want to thank your all's families and parents for the support they've given you guys in our school this year. Uh, it takes a team effort to make continue Beaumont to make Beaumont a special place, and we, we appreciate their support. And then the folks behind me, uh, this this place isn't special without them. Uh, we've got one of the best staffs around, um, and I appreciate them. Uh, I think more than they know. They, they're here early. They stay late. They work all weekends. They're constantly, uh, you know, supporting you guys throughout the year. And so let's give a round of applause to our seventh grade teachers. We're not only proud of the academic accomplishments of this group, but all the other things you guys are involved in, whether it be in clubs, athletics, or things outside of school. Uh, you guys are what makes Beaumont special, so we appreciate everything you guys have done to continue to make our school great. We hope that you have a wonderful summer, and that concludes our seventh grade sports program. All right, so here's what we're going to do for dismissal. All right, champions, you're going to.